Well, I'll tell you what I think. Reversing nearly a century of law, the Supreme Court last week voted 5-4 in favor of unlimited corporate campaign financing. Wow. That means, folks, that the very next time we go to the polls, we'll all get to vote for our favorite American idol, the almighty dollar. Hi there, I'm a full-time college student with no health insurance like millions of other Americans out there, and hey, what do you know? I have heart disease. The Republicans say you get what you pay for. That's the biggest shit I've ever heard. It is morally and ethically wrong for people like myself to be suffering daily because we cannot afford health care and there is no financial assistance available, nor is there national health care. So I don't know if y'all heard last week, but Keith Oldman had a real rant about Scott Brown of Massachusetts. He called him a racist, a homophobe, a sexist, a former nude model, a guy who drives a truck, a supporter of violence against women, a nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can have a pack with the devil guy! True story. And he was actually called out by Jon Stewart at The Daily Show, which is sort of like having Willy Wonka ask Liberace to tone it down a little bit. But the point is, Oberman apologized. He said, maybe I've been a little over the top lately. A little over the top lately, Keith? A little over the top lately? Sir, do you know who else is a little over the top? Sir, the n I'm G. Xavier Robiard. I'm a comedy writer in Portland. I don't get why everybody's so steamed up about the recent Supreme Court ruling that says that corporations are just like people. That means we can put them in jail. And I can fulfill my lifelong ambition to get married to Microsoft. One thing I am upset about is how the Supreme Court blocked YouTube coverage of the Proposition 8 trial. I don't care about the trial. I just want to mash up the video with that Numa Numa sound. That's pretty much it.